walked down the corridor, talked to the detective raking his head. Except rather the idea of emulating one because he'd rather be the one deceived instead. A woman came through and walked right past him. The perfume light as not as breeze. Though it only slightly disrupted him, it didn't cause him to sneeze. The punk saw from his locker, embroidered with anger cassettes. His mother would have punished him, had she known they scratched the dad's Corvette. The woman, she stopped cold in her tracks, emulating a movie of her own. Though she thought she was a classic, the man thought he'd seen her in a poem. She offered him a window, a simple bless you of her heart. Filtered through a golden ashtray because her heart was oh so charred. The man, he peered through her window. Thank you, was his reply. As he checked the modern scenery, he looked up and saw sex in her eye. The punk gazed deep into his locker. His girl came to say hello. And though he was so preoccupied, he offered his shoulder as a cold pillow. His girl was so confused, masked was her calm and exempt. She asked her boyfriend how he was doing, and he slowly inside wept. Well, the man, he thought it was time to make an advance from his throne. Though he thought he was advancing, the truth, he was falling below. His new friend reached in her purse and applied to them a cigarette. The man, if he could help her, it was a shame he couldn't see his own regret. The punk rocker's girlfriend, well, she'd had her heart broken before, and she'd seen it in her parents soon after their divorce. She calmly applied her makeup from a dark cosmetic case, took a look at the new peeps with lust all across their face. She looked at her new boyfriend and said, what is it now, my love? Are you troubled by the scenery because you are high up above? couldn't hide the cancer that circled him deep inside his brain. The people they were watching, they took a step outside and took a long glance at each other for the stimulation it would provide. This is the new lust, thought the man. This is what I want, thought the girl. Hunger and his lady took a long look into their world. Deep among the meadows, fallen ashes slept. She lied tied up by the roses while the storm slowly crept. The young punk, he approached, black leather on his mind, and he did what he could to save her using what nature had left behind. This woman took slow drag of their cigarettes. What they had decided was a meeting of no regret. It was a chance encounter, but they were quick to love. Sex was only a false production. The truth lay beneath the sludge. The punk and his girl, well, they quickly left the scene. Though their mind was elsewhere, they needed to be at the ravine. When they got there, they found the money locked inside a treasure chest. The man he had previously lost it in the fight in which he had lost his head. The note had been slipped into his locker, told him where he should be. The money he had asked for would be there in exchange for his evil deed. Punker's girl asked no questions and took her bitter share. It's true she came from nothing, and she wasn't really scared. She reached into her purse, drew her gun into her hand, pointed at her boyfriend, Killed him, then took his hand. <coughs> Solemn chant she quoted. She had read it before. Though she had been in love, she needed the money more. The man and his new friend came close too quick. When the sex was now on her mind, and he was alone in the shit. The hitman put for hire, slammed by clients young as the punk. This girl was a fan of novels. She didn't think she'd be the killer. Killed the young punk's father, he would surely kill her soon. She thought maybe he would love her, but he was allergic to her.